So Josh, uh, do you feel like this might be a little bit ahead of your schedule, year two in the NCAA tournament? Well, Leroy, you know, and, and you're, you're one of my main man. you know that, you know how it has been a grind this year. Yes, and uh, I mean, you've been right there with us and you know how it is. It's been ups and downs, peaks and valleys. This has been earned. I mean, this hasn't been given. I mean, this, this, right. this NC2 tournament berth has been completely earned. And uh, I'm so happy for the young men. Uh, for the city, for the fans. This is going to be great. And we're playing my alma mater, which That's I think right. it's a little extra storyline too, which is great. Absolutely. And we'll get back to that yep. in a second. Antonio Barton tells me that as a motivational tool, you wrote 7447 on a dry erase board and just kind of let it speak for itself. It well, looks like that helped. You know what? When we got, after we, after we beat East Carolina on Friday night, Leroy, uh, I went right into the thing. Because you know, guys were pumped up. I said, stop. Everyone stop. I don't want to hear a word. I want to hear. I want to hear silence. Took the dry erase board, 7447. Put the thing in. Let's break. That's all I said, and that was it. And the guys knew what I meant, and they came out and performed. And to their credit, we got down early, nine nothing. That's right, nine nothing. And we got down by 12 with 613 to go in the second half in in a deafening environment. I mean, deafening. But we found a way to win. And Leroy, all year long, our guys have found ways to win in close games. And I never got the sense, of course I was watching on TV, but I never got the sense that your guys were rattled, that they were doubting themselves. They just kept grinding, and at the end they were one point better. Yeah, you know, uh, the, the, the biggest thing with us, Leroy, is early in the season, you know, everyone was uh, complaining about our close games versus teams that they think we should have won by a certain amount. Those, those games helped us learn how to win. And those close games helped us learn how to win. That's the bottom line. So um, you look back at it and you realize that um, things, things work out. It's deeper than it looks on the surface. That's the bottom line. 13-1 and one in games divided by five points or less. Some people would say there's too many games decided by five points or less. But still, it's a very sobering statistic for this young team to be able to find ways to win those games. Leroy, you're a basketball guy. I mean... Uh, I mean, when you're in close games, I mean, you be, like you just said we're 13 and one. We could easily be seven and seven. Right. You could easily be five and five and nine. I mean, you know, because a, a shot here, a rebound there. So, it, it's that fine line of margin, and um, we found ways to win, and which is a credit to our players, because the players have to make plays late in the game. So let's get back to that storyline. You are going up against your alma mater. That's a that's a formidable challenge. Of course. So what is your approach to this next game coming up, your first game in the NC2A tournament? Um, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, Leroy. Uh, it's about us. I mean, it's great playing, it's play, great playing Arizona because it is my alma mater, and um, I had a great times there. But you know what? I bleed blue and gray. I bleed blue and gray. I want to one day get an honorary doctorate from Memphis. Maybe not an honorary doctor. I probably don't deserve that. But at least I'd like to get an honorary degree because that's how much I bleed blue and gray. But uh, uh, i absolutely um, uh, excited about the, the opportunity that we have in front of us. I mean, Arizona's a good basketball team. They're well coached. Sean Miller's big time, big time. So this is going to be a, uh, uh, an absolute great game, and uh, I'm excited for it. Will it mean a little bit more that you beat Arizona if you're able to pull it out? All wins are great. I've never, I don't care who you play or what, all wins are sweet. So, uh, but I'm going to tell you this, Arizona, Sean's a good friend. Sean Miller's a good friend. And like I said, a big time coach. And uh, they've got a good staff. Uh, they've got good players. Derek Williams, I thought we were going to sign him here at Memphis. He came on a visit. And I actually vote him for National Player of the Year. So that's the type of respect I have for Derek Williams. All right. Congratulations, Josh okay. Pastor. You're Thanks a conference Leroy. champion. Thank you so much. Thank right. you.